I've said it before, and I'll say it again. There really is something special about backgammon. And like I said in one of my first videos, I'm still a bit new to know exactly what that is, but I can feel it. Up until now, most of my games have either been against extreme gammon or friends and family that I've taught the game to. And although there's nothing wrong with that, and you can sure bet I've had a lot of fun along the way, there was a desire in me to get out and play more experienced players as well. People that I didn't know, but I wanted to. Like most things in this game I'm learning more about every day, I went to my trusty computer and did some searching. What did I find? My local backgammon club. After a quick email to Keen, the club's director, I was ready to head out in the coming week. I found myself making the trek with the excitement of a kid on Christmas morning. And let me tell you, it didn't disappoint. We're on our way to the Madison Backgammon Club. Uh, Bri, my wife, is joining, which is awesome. She agreed to run the camera when we're uh, actually playing, which is awesome. Really looking forward to that. We got about an hour and a half drive yet. We just stopped for some gas and uh, snacks. Got to have the snacks. And uh, just really looking forward to this. Uh, never been to a backgammon club. And uh, I'm just really eager to meet other backgammon players uh, who've been playing for a while. And I, and I totally expect to just completely get demolished tonight. <laughs> but it'll be good. I hope maybe, who knows? Maybe I'll roll really good and uh, it'll be a good night. But either way, it'll be a good night because it's, it's just backgammon. I mean, when you're playing backgammon, it's a good night. So we'll check back in when we get back to the Essen or when we get to the Essen house. I was one of the first to arrive at the Essen House. With nervous anticipation, I waited for my first game as all the club members started arriving and greeting me with curious smiles and hellos. And just like that, I was in my first match against a complete stranger. But I couldn't have asked for anything better. John was a lovely guy to play and had me laughing before the first dice hit the board. I'd love to say I have the whole match to present to you, unfortunately do not, but hopefully in the future videos. I did send him an early cube decision, which was probably an error on my part, which gave me a quick point in our five-point match. After three games, John was victorious with a 5-2 result, and boy, was I having a blast. What was the pleasure playing with John? Well, it was awesome. indeed. Uh, I enjoyed it as well. I hope, uh, you know, I didn't beat you up too bad. No, I got, at least I got a couple points. You, know, <laughs> you gave them to me, you know? <laughs> Didn't want to stop me in the dirt, at least. I just played my first match against John. I lost, but what can you do? It was, uh, there's a questionable cube decision. I don't, I don't have the exact board position. I might have took a picture of it, but I probably shouldn't have took it, and then I doubled it to four later. It wasn't good, but it was, it was a fun game. That was my first backgammon game in a club environment, which was really cool. We got to 4-2, and John just took the win there at the end. It was really fun, and I'm looking forward to doing more. I got one more match yet. Unless I win, then we'll have more. Next up was an equally great person and player in Mary. The first game with her was similar to my first game with John, with an early cube decision that I passed this time. Here's the cube decision actually right here. I already checked this in XG, but I'm curious, what would you have done? Before long, we were quickly to 4-0 in Mary's favor in our Crawford game. There were some tricky decisions here, and it turned into a fun back game, which I never know how to play, by the way. The dice were back and forth, with both of us getting a few jokers. As much as I'd like to say I battled back, the match ended with a royal beating, very similar to the treatment I get from playing my wife. But I still had an ear-to-ear -ear grin. <laughs> this was fun. So I just played my second match with Mary here, and I just got destroyed, so that was great. <laughs> but it was a great week. The, the last game was actually really fun. How did you feel about all the games? Um, I thought they were very good. You yeah. know, a lot of times it comes down to the roll of the dice. Yes. And um, so I started playing backgammon with this group about 10 years ago. Oh, awesome. And so I know exactly how you feel because I was a beginner for a long, long time. And it just took me a long time to get up to speed. And one thing about this club, um, they're really good at, you know, through the years of like pointing out what you're doing wrong. Yeah. And you get done with the game and they can sit there and say, when you had this or that, you should have did that. Yes. And I, I'm just amazed at how much they can remember. And you can learn, actually. Very much yeah. so. So what's so. your favorite part about the club? Um, just the group of people. Yeah, the you camaraderie. Know. Right. Well, I hope to see you again. Good yeah. luck on your next match. <laughs> nice Thanks meeting you. Likewise. Nice meeting you, too. <laughs> so, bye. All right, it's cold, so I'm going to be quick. We just finished the first uh, first backgammon tournament, my wife and I. Uh, she was behind the camera. She's behind the camera right now. But we did. It was fun. Yeah, it was really fun, actually. Uh, I lost both my matches, but that's okay. I learned a lot in the process and the group was so awesome everybody was so friendly and nice the camaraderie I think was my favorite part everybody as 
we talked, as Mary talked about a little earlier, everybody's super nice and welcoming and inviting, and you can sense that camaraderie, but to new people, they're also like ready to bring people in. And I just felt very welcome and at home the whole time, which was really awesome. And we even got a chance to catch up with Keen, the club director, at the end of my matches. It's a fun game. We all love the game. Yes. And we love to play. And, you know, just everybody has a good time. We're real happy, real easy going around here. So, you know, we, we just enjoy doing yeah. this stuff. It's it's fun for us. It's exciting. I mean, I do this, I do this love the game. Yeah. I have like a, a one hour each way drive to, to come in for the club. So. Yeah. And uh, I, I will never miss a week. It, well, I guess, what would you say to somebody who's debating checking out their local backgammon club? Oh, definitely. Go along. You know, just one time at least. Embrace it. Just really try and immerse yourself in the experience. And just taste it. It's, yeah. uh, it can be so much fun. You'll meet new people. You'll yeah. meet new friends. And, you know, you're going to meet people that love the game like you do, too. Yes. Which is one of the best parts. Yes. So. All right, my wife and I just got back from the Madison Backgammon Club. Uh, it's pretty late here, so I just wanted to pop on here at the end of the video to say an extra special thank you to everyone at the club tonight. It was such a fun time, such a good learning experience, and if any of you out there are considering going to your local club, I would highly recommend it. It's, it was such a good time. Uh, just I learned so much. The people couldn't have been nicer and it was just a really great time. So definitely check out your local club. And thanks again to everyone in Madison. And also a special thank you to Nick Blazier and Ben Friesen. They met my wife and I out at, uh, at the Madison Club and they kind of showed us the rope, showed us around. Uh, that was just really, uh, really nice of them. And uh, I'm sure a lot of you have probably heard of Nick. Uh, and if you haven't, uh, he does a lot of commentary uh, in the, uh, the backgammon world for tournaments and whatnot. I'll link his uh, channel in the description below as well as his book. And Ben runs a lot of tournaments, uh, and he's been in the backgammon world for a long time, as I'm finding out. And uh, Cherry Blossom, actually, is coming up here in April, which is a tournament he runs in Virginia. And my wife and I will be attending that, so definitely check that out. If not this year, then next year. been having a lot of fun making these videos, and all of you in the comments chatting. It's been really enjoyable chatting with all of you and getting to know the community and, and all of you in general. And uh, it's just been a lot of fun making this content, so I hope all of you have been enjoying it as well. This video is kind of a little different than the previous videos uh, we've been doing, just more of like a documentary style. Just curious what uh, I guess all of you think of it, and uh, if you have any feedback or anything you'd like to maybe see for future videos. Something I would personally like to see is actually documenting the whole match and maybe having, um, I guess, some, some parts of the matches in the video to maybe ask you guys about or to comment about or something like that. So um, until the next video, take care.